Hey, welcome back! So, you know how we now have eight characters, like key characters for the new Lego Friends line? Well, I thought it would be, like, fun, <laughs> if that's the right word, to get them all to live together. And then they could really get to know each other really, really well. Get to know the ins and outs of each other's personalities and really find out how they can get along. So to do that... What would be the best way to do that? Well, it would be to shove them into the smallest home possible for eight people. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to build a tiny home for eight people. What could possibly go wrong? Ah, oh, build challenge. So much fun. Okay, so my plan is to actually use these two floors from the community center as my base, like as the base part of the building, like not as the base. We're actually going to use the base. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so confusing. We're actually going to use this pre-built base to put it onto, but we're going to use these two floors, which are detachable as one as the eating area and the, you know, the, the, the general living room section. And then the upstairs is going to be their bedrooms and a bathroom. So this is going to be the second level. We're going to start here today with the bedrooms, bedrooms for eight people and a bathroom. And look, there is not a lot of room in there. We need to fit beds for eight people into this space. So this is going to be a challenge and fun <laughs> for me, if not for them, because it's going to be really, really claustrophobic. So we've got eight themed bedspreads here. These ones are from Leo's room. So Leo can have, obviously, the Sun City one, the fish one. Zach can have that. I chose this one for Ollie because he doesn't have a room yet. Uh, so that kind of goes with his colours. This one's Paisley's, obviously, because it's pink, it's got music on it. That one came from the tiny home, the mobile tiny home. This is Elias from her bedroom with a horsey theme on it. This one also came from the tiny home for, Le for Leanne. It's so perfect. They're so cute. This one is from Autumn's house. Obviously, this is Autumn's bedspread, and I just kind of chose these colours for, oh, I've knocked Leanne over. Sorry, Leanne. There's going to be a lot of this happening, though, because you're all going to be really shoved in really nice and tight. Chosen this one for Nova because the colours kind of go all right for her. So these these are their eight beds, and they're not even long enough for them to be beds for them yet. They're just the base for the beds. So, oh, my gosh. Bear with me. This is going to be super fun. Right. So this is our floor, and obviously we need walls all the way around, and we need windows, too. And we're going to do it exactly the same style as the as the as yeah as this level on the community center. But I'm actually going to offset this big turquoise window so I just have the tiniest bit more space on the inside, like the tiniest bit. So to do that, this new plate with its like little indents in it's just so handy for this. It's so good. It's so substantial, but and really really useful. So I'm going to put three windowy things here, but not the fourth one on because that's where the bedrooms are going to be, and over here is where the bathroom's going to be. So we don't want a big window there so that everyone can look in and see in the shower. <laughs> this is a little bit enthusiastic. All right, so let's just have a little look. If we just kind of just rubble these these bedspreads in here and just have a look at how much room they take up just on their own. So. I mean, we're going to need to do bunk beds, muck about. All right. Okay. So let's start with the bathroom and then we can see how much room we have for the bedrooms. But bathroom is important. I'm actually going to use uh, some of these pre-existing pieces that came out of, I think this one, this one came out of the main street set, I think, or was it? No, it was the main street set. And I'm uh, like hundred percent just entirely stealing the bathroom from the main street, changing the colors up a little bit, but otherwise it's going to be just like that and popping this in the corner. So going to tie in slightly different colors to what was in Main Street just so that it fits the color scheme for our external part of the building because this this floor is going to be like green and turquoise it's going to be really pretty and no blue and turquoise and the bottom floor is going to be green so yeah we're just matching both of those colors in here and we've got the spaces there with the jumper studs so that's where we're going to be putting our sink and a toilet and the fact that the stickers actually have a whole heap of this stuff already stuck on the walls we don't have to worry about building those things so nice and handy especially love the rubber ducky. So we've got the toilet over here and you've got the flash buttons behind that. And even though there is also already a shower head here, there was a shower head in the build too. So we're going to do that too because it's like this would be like the rain shower head and the super fancy. <laughs> like, this bathroom's got a lot more space than I really wanted it to have, but that's fine. It'll do. I mean, there are eight people. One toilet for eight people. They're going to love this. Okay, so my my plan is basically to get in 
the like sketch in the outline and then I backfill the outline being the important bits and then I backfill the rest of the stuff and because I want the same facade as this building looked like originally I'm going to stick with the same color scheme sticking with a really cool bricking happening on the sides and yeah I think I can put these in here because I don't know quite what I'm going to do so if I just put the bottom level on I'm going to need to actually put some bunk bed structure into the walling so I'm going to have to change it up anyway this mat has come from Leah's bedroom and I just I'm going to use as much stuff as I can it makes a really nice bath mat it matches the color so cutely I'm going to use as much stuff from the bedroom sets their room sets as I can in here as well just so that it kind of feels a little bit homey even if it's really squished so over here's going to be the boys bedroom and over here's going to be the girls bedroom there are five girls three boys <laughs> gonna do the boys first and see how little space we can get them into first and then see how much space we have left for the girls so if we put Leo's up here and then Oh, okay. But this isn't even as big as these beds need to be. To actually fit a mini doll on them, they need to be uh, <laughs> six by two in length and width. So this one's, <laughs> this is Ollie's here. We're going to put Leo's as a bunk up higher. I need to make sure that there's enough room for Ollie to actually lie down in the bed underneath. I don't know if they're going to have enough room to actually sit in there. I, I don't know, but I don't think so. I think it's just going to be about lying beds. The beds are for sleeping only <laughs> and reading. Um, okay. So if I put this in here, I'll be able to attach the bunk bed up here. So that's on one side. We're going to need a bit of substance on the other side, but we are going to need a ladder to actually be able to get up to this level. That looks cute. That looks really super cute, but I do need something to attach this side here. So if I start building this wall up to the same, just trying to make sure that I'm, uh, yeah, I'm mimicking the same design as the wall was initially. Uh, okay. So I need to get it up to the same height as where the bunk bed is on this side and then put a little like maybe a one of those little L leg plates on but I'll just backfill these bits here because I yeah all right good so I can put this little L plate in here and that will just yeah provide a little bit more structure for the bunk bed and then we can backfill these sections I haven't the colors are slightly different but it really doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter at all so we've got Ollie's and Leo's bed in here and I can just put a light under here from this little hangy bit. I'm gonna add all these little translucent yellow pieces for, <laughs> for, for pretend bunk bed lights. Lots of little lights. They're gonna need a lot of light in here. It's gonna be very cluttered. Now, this bookcase came out of Aaliyah's room. It's gonna be the dividing wall. I'm gonna take out the bathroom wall for now because it's getting in my way. But we can actually pop Zach's bed in beside there. But we do have room for another little, for, for just a little bit of extra furniture. So we can put this little kind of side table-y thing in. This has just directly come out of the beach house, the vacation beach house from last year, I think. So cute. The little lamp design's so very cute. And I reckon we could even put the boom box in there but we'll put Zach's bed in first make sure there's enough room first so we're gonna build this up a bit the bed up a bit so it's at a slightly different height so getting our bed sheets and the and the pillow on like we have for the others so it's at the right length to fit our mini doll on so this is gonna then go in and help hold that window in place too that looks fine look that doesn't look too cluttered all right so that's what it's gonna look like when we put the walls back in uh, yeah, I reckon that I'm just going to backfill this wall here, seeing as how we're not going to be adding anything more up here. Up here we can add another lamp, right? So this little lamp came out of Leo's room, so that's really cute that it can be up there over the top of his bed. And then let's fix the outsides because we are done on the inside for this room. So we'll just get our walling in up to the right height. Oh, I'm going to have to do these windows a little bit differently. So I'm just going to add some of these translucent blue pieces to fill up that gap, but not make it too boxy feeling with translucent. It makes it so nice. All right. So let's see if we can get Ollie in here. Yes, we can get Leo in up here. Fits really very nicely. Everybody likes having a lamp shoved right in their face. And we can fit, fit the stereo system in here on the table. And Zach, look at that. It looks like, you know, a summer camp dormitory. So cozy. <laughs> but now we've got to fit five girls bedrooms five girls beds into this existing bedroom so wish, wish me some luck let's uh, have a think shall we so we've got this smellable space um we're gonna definitely have to do some bunk bed kind of <laughs> tetrising features but first up let's get some if I get the wall up to a point yeah that can hold the first 
bunk bed, I think. Uh, oh, let's get that off Zach's head. That's not very comfy. And because I'm changing up the color scheme here, I'm going to put a little bit of slightly different on the outside. You'll see it'll, it'll look, it'll look cute. The outside, I want the outside to look just as good as the inside because I've cheated for the outside. So I should be able to make it nice. All right. So, well, but when I say cheated, I've used an existing build or an idea for an existing build. So here's Autumn's bed up here. Hopefully we've got room underneath here to be able to put Paisley's bed. Hopefully we'll be able to fit her. So let's fill this out to full bed capacity and maybe put this one directly down on the flooring plate. Yeah, I don't know that I want to try and lift that up too high. Let's check this out for size first. Yes, she just fits in there. Very nice. And putting a ladder on the end. And at the moment, we only have structure on one side of this bunk bed, but that's fine. Look, Autumn fits in beautifully. So let's put some substance on the other end by using the lamp. This lamp came out of Aaliyah's bedroom. And if I, no, wrong end. If I put this little, like, little rounded platey kind of thing halfway along, I can use this to just add just the tiniest bit more structure. I mean, it's not going to be terribly safe. Don't push down too hard on it on this end, but it just gives a little bit more stability on the end. So we've got a lamp now too, separating the bedrooms, which is cute, and also lighting up both bedrooms. Okay, two beds in three to go. <laughs> so Leanne's bed is going to go maybe just right next to Paisley's on the floor level. And we might build this up just a tiny weeny bit just to give it a slight, slight difference in height. Just looks nicer. So that can go here. Yeah, there's going to be room for all of them in there. And then put the next bunk bed up here above. Yeah, above Autumn's bed or at the same height as Autumn's bed. No, we might be able to stagger them a little bit. Let's see. It might come a little bit too close to the ceiling. I don't know. We're going to just have to try it and find out. That's the only way you, it's the only way you find out things is just by giving it a go. So if I need, no, that's too long. If I put a three by one brick in here, that's going to give me a little bit of something to put this next bed onto. Looks really, yeah, it doesn't look great from the outside, but it really, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm beyond caring at this stage. We're going to try and make this fit. Uh, so I'll put a little light under this because that's what we did with the last time we did that. And if I put a smooth bit on here, we might be able to put her book, like Aaliyah's book up here next to her bed, just snugged in next to the window. All right, so we need some structure on this side to actually hold up her bed. So we're gonna build the wall up to that height and then use one of those little V, yeah, one of those V bricks, because I've got one in the right color. So that's really handy. And this can go, then we can put the bed, oh, Oh, look at that. Leo's out of his bed. Come on, back in bed. Um, I think that's going to be a problem trying to fit Autumn in there. Let's give it a go. Oh, look, I can wedge her in there. I mean, I did say we we're going to fit like she fits. I didn't say it was going to be comfortable. So we can wedge Autumn in here. She looks, that's fine. It's fine. It's not. We'll try and fix that. So maybe if we move it all over... Oh, oh, there we go. Look, oodles of space now. Luxury, luxury now. Uh, put the book over here next to Aaliyah's bed and then she is tentatively balanced on the top here and looking fine. Now we've got some space here at the back. We're going to be putting Nova's bed here, but we do have space for a little side table -y kind of thing, just with some knickknacks. And so just to make it a little bit homey, otherwise it's just beds. It's just beds all kind of shoved in. So let's put some stuff in here that make it just feel a little bit more lived in. So we've got a pen for some nighttime scribbling and a tiny little portrait kind of thing. It looks like kind of a Leanne style portrait just sitting very very like just a really small one on the side. I really would have loved to have put her little cloud, the cloud mat that she has in her room in here but I just can't fit it. So Nova's bed over here. I've put a jumper stud on the end so and so that I can put her phone here because her phone's quite you know, quite distinctive to this new series. So she can just be resting her feet on that. Look at that. They're all in. Everybody's in. Don't breathe because they're going to fall out. I didn't say it was going to be safe. I said it was just going to fit. So <laughs> they're going to be falling precariously off the edge there, but I don't care. They'll be fine. You know, you have to live life with a bit of adventure. Now, fixing up what I've actually done here because I don't have enough of these bricks with the configuration I've had. So it's not very interesting, but I fixed that up. And now we'll put this bed back in here. And then... 
I can actually put a little bit more decoration up here, just a little tiny bit. Hopefully it will still fit. But we'll put another couple of these little printed printed tile pieces which match the style of the other little splash down the bottom. They're kind of Leanne splashes. I really like them. And now we can just backfill the rest of the walling. <gasps> no, no, not yet. Hold up. Let's put this on. I want to put in Nova's lightning saber sword thing so this could go over here on this separating wall so i reckon i've got yeah i've got a clip of the right color noise and then we just need to build that wall up to the height that the rest is going to need to be at very nice i'm just afraid i'm going to sneeze and everybody's going to fall out Shh, nobody sneeze okay let's get the rest of the walling on here and then secure the top oh and we're going to make the outside pretty too because we got this weird looking space over here so we're going to actually cover this with green Yay, here's some green I prepared earlier. I mean, if you've got an empty space, put some plants in it. It's my motto and it looks really nice. And this little stud here, that's just for a little errant bit of plant that escaped from the other bit. So there we go. Oh, I forgot to put the ladder in for Elias' bed. She was gonna have to do the most amazing vault to get up into her bed, but now she's good. All right, we have got ladders. We have got bunk beds. We have got too many people in one very teeny tiny living space. Let's get them out so we can have a look at what it actually looks like without people. Very cluttered, but but yeah, it's, it's, it's doable. Let's put another plant over here next to the bathroom because it was looking a bit empty, I think. <laughs> we had an empty space. Okay, I think all we have left to do now for this, <laughs> for this level is to put a nice line of turquoise along the top here to just tie all of these walls in, make sure they're all securely attached to each other, the windows, everything like that. And because I can't do that just with a turquoise, those pieces we also need to make sure that these nice tile pieces also tie everything in and they have got jumper studs on them so that we can add a roof to this later too so much fun okay so this is what we have got so far it's a t it is a teeny tiny space like this is a tiny home and this is just their sleeping quarters and the bathroom which looks incongruously large compared to the rest <laughs> of it but we're not done obviously we need the kitchen and we need their you know communal communal space so we're going to use this as our base obviously we're going to need a door here to actually get in so i'm going to need to mix this up a bit but you're going to need to wait for the next video for that so I'll have it done in the next couple of days, so make sure you check back in the meantime. <laughs> enjoy the cramped living quarters of the eight Lego friends. I mean, I bet they're going to enjoy, they're going to be glad to be spending so much time in such close company. Look at them. They're loving it. I wonder if by the time we come back, they'll all have like angry little clouds over their heads of grumpiness and yeah. Mm, enjoy. All right. <laughs> Today we're building their kitchen and living areas on this space here. Now this is part of the community centre. This is one of the floors of the community centre. We're going to empty it out on the inside. We're going to change the outside too because we need to put a door here because it's going to be the bottom floor. Uh, yeah, so let's just have a look and see, see how this is going to fit onto the base that we already have. Because this is, once again, the base of the community centre, the Lego Friends community centre, which is a gorgeous thing. And it's very, 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 very customizable, which is what we're doing today. But we're going to see if we can get, yeah, kitchen and living area onto just this white space here. But we need a door. So let's, let's map out where the important things are going to go first. So then we can figure out what else we have space for. Big window here behind the chair. And I reckon we just take, I love the fact that we can just take these things off, like the tree and the chair, and there's a lamppost that I've already taken off to, which we can all put back again nice and easily from the original build. So chair's still gonna fit here very nicely with the big window in front. And this is gonna be the living area over on this side. And on the side with the door, because it's a smaller area, we're going to put the kitchen over here. So we're going to put the smaller window option over here too, but we're going to need to mix it up a bit too so that we can put shelving and stuff in. So the walls itself, no, the walls themselves are not going to be the same as the original build per the instructions, but the style is going to be exactly the same. The whole idea is going to be the same. So we're going to use these little alternating bricks with the little, like the headlight bricks to make the brickwork interesting facade cornery bits. So I'll pop them in too so that I don't accidentally fill them up with something else because I want them. Because I want the outside to look just as nice as the inside this time, which is not something I generally do. For me, it's generally all about the inside. But we've already got, you know, we've already got a master plan here for the 
outside so we might as well might as well make it look nice all right but working on the inside this corner's got it's got like a little bit of unikitty on it that's right we'll cover that up that little print now over here we've got a space for the kitchen so we're going to put in i mean this is gonna be for eight people it's good there's gonna be no room uh but we're gonna see what we can we'll just fit as much stuff as we can in and then see hopefully the eight people will fit in here it's not going to be comfortable. All right, so we want a small window space here, generally behind the sink, because that's where you tend to put windows in a kitchen. It's just nice to look out the window while you're busy washing up. Makes the horrible, menial, boring task of washing up just a little bit better. So this is where we're going to have the window. We're going to have some shelving up here on this side. So I just need to make sure I allocate space for that. So we got forward-facing studs and then some shelves. Yeah directly above them that should be all right and I'm trying to match the colors to to what the original uh, yeah the original wall work looked like so let's get the window in now that we've got this much this much in place and we've mapped out where the shelves are going to go so window there the window design for this is so inspired I <laughs> I couldn't do this on my own, so I'm so glad that LEGO Friends designers give us such interesting stuff to play with and to learn from. Okay, so windows in, let's get the kitchen in. Nice and basic and simple. First up, let's get it off the base though, so that we can just muck about with our floor all by itself, and then we'll put it all back on again at the end. So, in the kitchen, we want a fridge. Fridge first with all of the noms in it. So we've already got this nice big fridge piece, this new big fridge piece that started coming in Lego this year. So we'll put a handle on the fridge so that we can actually open it. Because if you can't access what's in the fridge, it's a bit sad. So fridge is ready to go. Let's load it up with stuff. So let's put some eggs in. I love this, love this egg sticker. Once again, these have come out of friends builds. Uh, we need cheese because life without cheese is not worth living. I don't know how lactose intolerant people manage. Cheese just as cheese is life. So we've got some cheese and thought it would be nice to have some sushi too, ready to cut. Nice, quick, easy snack, nice and healthy and delicious. We can put that on top of the cheese, which isn't <laughs> contaminatory at all. Uh, the eggs, I've put just the wrong two by one color brown bit on the bottom. So I'm just going to fix that up. It doesn't really matter, but it does matter because I'm going to need that piece later. And chocolate, because once again, like cheese, chocolate is also life. So we're putting two different chocolatey things in here. The sushi's been on the ground. Don't worry. It's fine. This floor's clean enough to you can eat off it. Yeah, so the dairy milk piece there is Lego, but it's been printed on by a company here in Australia. All right, so got our fridge. Got room on the top to put stuff still, so that's good. We're going to put a sink in front of the window. It's going to use this new style that, that we're seeing in a lot of builds here, which I really like, which we attach to the wall. Well, we're going to attach it to the window still with this little angle brackety bit here. Put us, yeah, we need a tap for the sink and some washing up detergent. And then we can actually put a little tube bit underneath it as the outlet, like the pipe to go down. So that should be at the right height for this little tubey thing. So we can pop that here on the jump stud and then put the pop it pop it pop pop the sink on here uh, and now we're going to put in our oven so once again this oven came out of a friend's build putting a baking tray in there it's empty at the moment but you know I'm feeling optimistic that there might be something being baked in there soon maybe Leo will get in do a bit of baking that'd be nice and some hot platey bits on the top with a pot with some red nums <sighs> happening in them <laughs> that came out of the community kitchen, the pot with the red nums. Okay, so on either side, we just need a bit of bench space. So we're going to make it purple to match the little bit of flooring that we have there with this little headlight brick. And if we put a smooth tile in front of the headlight brick, it just kind of gives it definition and gives the idea, like the idea of it being maybe drawers or storage compartments. I mean, obviously they're not openable, but it just gives it a little bit more texture and the appearance of storage. Something that we all like. <laughs> I like real storage, but the appearance of storage in Lego is fine too. Now, uh, exhaust fan up the top and some clips to actually hold some cooking utensils. We've got our frying pan and a whisk because of course you do. I did try to fit a spatula in there, but the spatula is really big. And on the shelf up here, strawberry jam. Uh, we really need like a big pantry, but there's just not going to be room. So a jar or a box of ambiguous spice, which is spice without the label. Like we don't know what it is. Some honey and some popping corn ready for popcorn later because otherwise this, yeah, they're going to need something cheap to exist on. And up here, we're putting a biscuit barrel or a bowl of biscuits, a bottle. No, 
we call these the thing? A jar, a jar of biscuits, got it. And I'm trying to actually move them around so that I can have the prints facing outwards. So these little tweezers, like stamp, stamp collector's tweezers or hobby tweezers, really, really useful for this sort of thing. And we've got lots of different types of biscuits in there. And I would like to have enough teacups here for everybody, but it's just not gonna happen. I'm gonna put four up here because I think I might be able to fit four in with the roof line, but oh, they're just kind of floating there. And bubble gum, because bubble gum gets everywhere. <laughs> And I had to include it because it's in all the new Lego friends sets. It's so cute. Okay, we're going to use this triangle piece to expand the floor line just a bit down here because we can because of the bottom floor and I'm doing it. Right, we need an island bench. So in that island bench, we're going to have more storage. So in these drawers, we are going to have a mismatch of cutlery. Uh, not enough for everybody. It's going to be a bit sad. They're going to have to come in really early to get their cutlery. Or they're just going to have to, yeah, uh, they're going to have to wash it after they finished it. Yeah, that's right. And some bowls in this little little cupboard here. There's no way I can put enough for eight people in. I just can't. There's not enough room. So we're just going to have to imagine. Or they're just going to have to do lots of washing up. Bench top is looking good. Got a nice big preparing space up here. And speaking of preparing space, got a cutting board with a sticker on it from the cooking competition, I think, with strawberry on it. So we're going to be cutting up fruit. So we got a watermelon and a couple of bits of cut up fruit already up here. Well, strawberry's not cut up. It's cut up on the cutting board, but we do have some cut up watermelon ready to go. And we need an enormous cleaver for cutting up because that's what you use for cutting up fruit. Chop, chop, chop. Okay, all of the tea, <laughs> the teacups fell off because I got too excited. It's going to happen a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. And there's actually a little bit of space on the side here. So we're going to put in Leo's recipe book from his bedroom. I'm going to continue trying to fit in as many pieces from their bedroom sets as possible just to personalize this whole build for the Lego friends. Okay. So let's get Leo in. Yep. Looking nice. And there's always somebody in the fridge. So Nova can be here opening the fridge. Good thing it's got a glass door. <laughs> so she doesn't have to open it to let all cold air out to see what's in there. All right. Filling the little corner next to the door. I'm going to put just a little bookcase because bookcases are, are nice. And we've got lots of books from Leanne's room from her foldable downable bed thing. So we're going to utilize some of those as a little corner bookshelf. Plus it's going to cover up Unikitty's eyebrow that's staring at us from the corner currently or maybe it was like a closed no I think it was an eyebrow okay books looking good and on the very top this little trinkety toy car thing that came from Nova's bedroom and I need to put some things on to actually be able to put this in so window out so I can access in here this is why I don't finish up the walls until I've completely finished up the inside all right we can put the window back in for now there's actually a decent amount of window ledge so let's utilize that Okay, there's also a bit of floor space too, which we're going to use too before we put in the living area. Uh, so these are some workbooks from Aaliyah's room and this is a little stereo from Leanne's room. My gosh. And yeah, it's going to be cluttered. I mean, was it ever not going to be cluttered? One, it's a build that I do. And two, it's got eight people living in here. So put this here so some books that have escaped from the bookcase or not been put back on the shelves. We can put this trophy from Elias' room in the on the windowsill. And this little white figurine came from Nova's room. So we got a few little knickknacks here. Now we're going to put a big L-shaped sofa in that space, which is not a lot of space left for eight people to be able to hang out together. So, right, L-shaped sofa to fit a maximum amount of characters possible. <laughs> Let's get this put together. And the color scheme I've gone with is we've got purple as the accent color as well as the green from the walls. So maybe we'll use dark purple for the sofa-y back cushiony things. And it's going to be low back sofa. My reasoning for this is because it's going to look less cumbersome. It's just like just low level looks looks nicer. Okay and corners going to fill them out just nice and simple here because the roundedy cornery bits don't go around the corner. So we're just filling up those spaces and a patchworky kind of top. And the good thing about a text a textured upholstery is that you don't notice so much when you get it all grubby. And trust me these guys are going to get this all grubby. So yeah, patterned, patterned upholstery is a good plan. Just making sure that I'm alternating these colors, getting the squares on as straight as I possibly can, which is not terribly straight, but it's straight enough. Okay. All right. So they look, they look 
good. That looks good. Okay, it's ready to be sat upon. But we want to actually put a few of these little roundedy plate pieces on because they just attach it nicely to the base plate and just gives it the, the idea of some legs. So I'm not going to push it down just... Hmm, the teacups are gone. Uh, teacups, we're going to have a reckoning. <laughs> book's gone too. Okay, I can slide the book back in again. I'm not pushing the couch down yet because we got other stuff to try and fit around it and I'm not 100% sure where I want it to be. So we need a couple of stools for the, we're only going to be able to fit a couple of stools for the kitchen bench here. It's also going to give some extra seating because we need seating for eight people. So we got a couple of, couple of chairs here. Oh, what else can we fit in? Some floor cushions? So these are floor cushions that have come from Aaliyah's room. Definitely can put this couch down now because I don't know where else I would put it. I think that's just going to be the perfect spot. Another chair and another cushion we could pop over here. I'm just trying to figure out where a single chair could go in this space and still be able to access, like, I don't think there's going to be any walking space around this couch. There's going to be a lot of, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, as people try to move around or people just climb over each other, which is what tends to happen in teeny tiny living spaces. I think that'll do nicely there. That chair came from Nova's bedroom. And now, now on this corner, I just, just try to configure where these can go so it doesn't, nah, it's fine. I don't think it's going to get any better. Let's get Leanne in just to make sure that we can fit some people in. She can be working on, well, playing the game from Nova's bedroom. And now we need some entertainment. We're going to have another bookcase and we're going to have, oh, actually, no, before we do that, let's do some, let's do the shelving on the side here because there's definitely some wall space for shelving. So we can have some more knickknacks on here, make it more personable, personable, personalized. It's already personable. <laughs> it's got lots of persons in it. <laughs> That's not what that means. Okay, so let's get this up here and these. Yeah, okay, so on the shelf, we can put a uh, controller, just random stuff from the bedrooms, breaking the wall. And uh, this little stack of graphic novels, I reckon, from Leanne's room. And then on those inward facing studs, we're putting the pictures, the cute little pictures from Leo's room. Look how cute they are. We need some more pictures of the friends together to go on the wall. All right, now we're going to put in a, like a, I don't know, a entertainment cabinet, a bookcase, slash it's going to have a TV attached to it. So a nice big flat screen TV up high so that they can see it from anywhere in this room. So while Leo's hanging out in the kitchen, he'll be able to watch a bit of TV. So, yeah, and I'm going to make it see-through. Uh, I don't know what we, there's going to be negative space so that we can actually see through it from the back so that it doesn't look too blocky. So another one of the books from, I think this is from Leanne's room. And then if we put these little cute candlestick pieces up the side, it's not so blocky, right? And then you've got space in, yeah, wait, space, see through, see through. That's exactly what I meant. I meant what I said. It just didn't make any sense. <laughs> Okay, and this is the TV, flat screen TV. Got some footage going on there about the treehouse, the anniversary treehouse. It's a little bit out of date, but they're watching reruns. And now on the top, we get a pink frog from Nova's room. And then, of course, I'm going to put a little flower up here, a little plant. Okay, so yeah, so this goes on the end. And because it's not terribly blocky, it's going to look okay from the side too, rather than kind of fencing it all in. Yeah. All right. Okay. I don't think, I'm just trying to figure out where I can put these chairs. I just think I'm dreaming. If I think I can, <laughs> no, they all just have to stay where they are. I can move them around a bit. And this came from Leanne's room because snacks, you got to have snacks. Snacks are really important to everything. Uh, and bubble tea. We'll put a bubble tea here on the end of the bench, which has been forgotten. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we can start figuring out the outside, finishing off the walls and putting these angled bricks on the edges just so I can add a bit of extra support because we're going to be putting another level on top of this. But because the flooring is this nice big substantial L-shaped piece, it should be pretty substantial because I'm not substantial, said it too many times. But because I'm not putting too many floors up, it should be okay. All right. And then, yeah, another one here. And then I reckon we can just put our nice smooth pieces with the little jumper studs on preparing to put the bedroom level on on the top yeah this came together really nicely it's a lot of stuff in there we've only got three people in there at the moment. we'll load it up in a moment but on the outside need to put the foliage in so this is the same style of foliage as was here before but on this side i'm going to mess about with it a bit so we're going to have a climbing 
because there were actually uh, flower pots, hanging flower pots. So we're going to put some more climbing foliage here and some lamps on either side of the door. So nice, cheery orange, warm, warm light orange oh, lamps for either side. And then once we've done that, we're still going to have an exposed stud on either side there, which we'll fix in a moment. Let's stick these into the, no, close to the door, stick them in. Straighten them up. I do like having them square. It looks really modern. And then we'll just put a little square tile on and now it just looks like a little bit of interesting brickwork. It's cool. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm putting the teacups back very optimistically. And let's put this on the base and just make sure I have lined everything up and that we're still going to be able to fit everything here. Yeah, very nice. Yes. All right. Nothing fell off. So that's that's tick. Uh, door doesn't, no, door opens, it's fine. Everything just wasn't seated down properly. And now, speaking of not seated down properly, poorly Anne's looking a bit askew. I'm going to sticky tack her butt to the seat. There we go. All right, now we can put on the next level. Being very careful to not let anybody fall out of their beds too late. Yeah, Aaliyah's, she's got a precarious position up there. <laughs> Getting the tree out for a moment just so I can line up. See, all of this climbing vine, it all interacts. No, into correlates it, it goes together it goes beautifully all the way up that wall and then if I want to be really extra tricky I can put oh, <laughs> oh Aaliyah I don't know that she fits she kind of almost does mostly I might have to mess about with her bed a bit but I can put the ceiling on just so that we I mean this is one from the community center I've just taken all the stuff off it but just so that we have a finished looking building from the front Okay, lamppost back in and we're done. We made it. It, it, it. it was possible. It is possible to make a tiny house for eight people. Look at them. Oh, they're so snuggly in here. Nobody is totally getting in here each other's nerves at all yeah all right and yes thank you for the comments that said the lineup for the bathroom in the morning is going to be horrendous absolutely but you know what that made me think that made me think that maybe now that we have <laughs> popped them all in a tiny house should we also do this in the sims like just create the eight characters, put them in a house together and see how they do interact and get along. I mean, it might be a survival of the fittest situation. Who doesn't die last? I don't know. It's going to be horrible. They're going to have one bathroom. I think we should do it. Let me know in the comments. I'm now quite psyched by this idea. <laughs> what does that say about me? All right, comment. And yes, check back in because, oh my goodness, I have plans. Okay, I'll see you again soon. <laughs> Bye.